this is Eagle Al, and today I'll be talking about AJ Brown sending a strong message. Also, John Ross sending a powerful message. And yes, lastly, we got to talk about a little trade rumors. Uh, Sutton's name is being brought up, but we're going to go over it. But let's get straight into it. All right, so. I guess I could just call the show the wide receiver show because that's who I would be talking about. A potential wide receiver we training for. A wide receiver that's trying to get back on the grind and a wide receiver is in this prime. So let's start with A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown, he sends a powerful message to the league. But let me play this clip. You see, right? Or maybe you don't see this clip because it was a clip of a J. Cole rap and hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted. I do everything I can to stop it but he says some things or he repeated some lyrics you know j cole like yeah i'm that guy i'm that guy i ain't gonna say the n-word but he like i'm that guy and y'all gonna have to watch out for me and he's played another clip or put up another clip on his ig but let me play that it's from million dollars worth of game it's cool but like i'm still hungry bro yeah i ain't satisfied it's like like bro i always say it like man go get the money I, you know what I'm saying? It's always some more out there. Never get too comfortable with, you know what I'm saying, with anything. Like. You see, AJ Brown, his mentality is, yeah, I got paid. I got the bread. I'm the highest paid. But the game remains the same. The grind, the hustle, going to get it. And it's good he's keeping that mindset. It's really, really good that he's keeping that mindset because usually when guys get paid, they get laxed. They get lazy. I got my money. He even posted a couple pictures and even one of the pictures were was, you know, him in a tank top letting people know, like I'm putting in the work. And not only that, he's been showing up to voluntary OTAs somewhere. He don't have to be. He don't have to be at voluntary OTAs. He could have just stayed in Florida. I believe that's where he was at and just hired some trainers. But no, he's locking in with the team. He's preparing for mandatory minicamp. And I like it. I like it. I love it. Look, even Elliot Short parts like, yo, AJ Brown been unguardable, to be honest. He like, yo, AJ Brown's been unguardable during OTAs. And I believe it. He just is simply unguardable. I'm going to put it like that, man. Mind you, Slay was there at one point, and he had to deal with Isaiah Rogers, which at a point Isaiah Rogers started making plays, but AJ Brown just been dominant. So we know when Smitty come back, we see the offense versus defense. You know, a lot of people been worried about the interceptions, this and that. But our full first team offense is not there with Devontae Smith, with Delane Johnson. And I think the offense is going to start really pushing up or pushing against the defense. So we we'll definitely see Dorn mandatory minicamp. And I believe it's three days and the media will be open all three days to that mandatory minicamp. I believe it comes up start from like June 3rd to June 6th or June 4th to June 6th, something like that. Look, it's good to see AJ Brown is keeping the same mindset of I got to go grind, got to go get it because he said one thing during his press conference. We're in between that line. These dudes don't care what's in the bank account. We're all playing to win. We all playing for the ultimate goal. So I'm with AJ. I stand with AJ Brown. But let's talk about a guy that's on our team right now that's on the grind and he's really just trying to make the team. And that's John Ross, man. John Ross continues to put out powerful messages that, you know, I want him to win. At one point, I'm like, eh, I don't know if he's going to make the team, this and that. But he sounds like a guy that wants to win. And he's not just saying that he's putting it out on the field. But let's listen to this clip of him just coming back to football. But literally the day I retired, it was, I knew it was a mistake. Um, but I think when you go through so much in life and you can only control so much, you know, you get to a place mentally um, 
and physically, you know, from what I've been dealing with and what I've dealt with, you know, it was, it was, it was tough. I can tell you that my environment wasn't, wasn't great, you know, so you kind of got to kind of got to hone down and, you know, pay attention to what's, what matters to you and what's real. And, um, I got to see my son every single day. And I think that changed my life because it just let me know that I don't have anything to worry about. You know, I got this little boy in, inspiring me every day through him, watching him play football and him learn and me teach him. And I used to feel bad because I would, I would get on him so much. And I used to be like, I should be getting on myself, you know, because I can see me in him, you know. And it was, uh, I can honestly say he pulled me out of a, a bad place. And I, again, I'm very thankful. Every second I spend away from him is hard. Um, but I understand sacrifice. And he's older now to where he calls me. He's like, like, even today, he called me right before meetings and he went to school. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to meetings, you know? And he's like, he's just happy. Um, every day he wants to hear how practice is. And that really keeps me in it. I'm already in it for myself. Like, I'm, I'm, like I said, I wake up every day happy. Like, I can wake up at 3 in the morning and just I'll smile because I'm like, I'm really in Philly. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I actually grew up an Eagles fan, too. So it's, it's actually crazy. But um, he calls me every day and keeps me in it, for sure. It's good to hear that he's in a positive headspace and now he just wants it. Spot opened up for him. Devontae Parker decided to retire. You really start looking at the wide receiver three position like, well, is Anaya Smith ready? We know he's dealing with an injury. He can really compete with Paris Campbell or maybe he could just be that backup big body receiver because at the Paris Campbell, at the Anaya Smith, who's really there? You got Covey, but you already got return guys and like Cooper DeGene and stuff. So do Covey make the team? Can John Ross beat out Covey? I would say yes, he can. So it'd be interesting what John Ross can do because John Ross is a guy who names been buzzing during camp. Believe it or not, at one point, you're talking about a guy that was what, like the 19th overall pick. So he's not just a complete scrub. He just... Didn't fit right with the Giants. Come on, he went to the Giants. And then the Bengals, he, he just couldn't get his feet going. His expectations was way too high because of his speed, breaking records as far as like the combine. And I guess that was just too much pressure. And he, you know, he, he failed. I, I'm going to keep it a beam. He had one decent year, like a 500-yard year, but injuries and just underperforming whereas though he needed more development but we know first round pick wide receivers don't get a chance he's back he don't have as much pressure of being that first round pick guy all we ask him to do see if you can make the team start off with rookie minicamp he got a contract let's see what he can do but this is a guy i'm really really rooting for man i'm rooting for this guy to make the team so hopefully he can make the team and Prove a lot of people wrong, you know, and when his time come playing some preseason game, really show out joint practice, really show out. I want this guy to make the team now. I'm a John Ross guy now. So hopefully he makes the team and again, prove a lot of people wrong, even including me. So I'm like, I don't I don't know if he'll make the team. You know, him signing a deal technically doesn't mean he makes the team. But when you look at the roster, besides, of course, Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. And what Anaya Smith is going to get there due to just being drafted. But you telling me John Ross can't compete with the Coveys, the Shaq Davises, the Joseph Nagatas and stuff like that. He can compete with those guys. So let's see what he do. See what he do. All right. So let's talk about the trade target. Just I was just talking about how thin we were at wide receiver. But this can change things with Cortland Sutton. All right, so he's a guy who hasn't been at the Broncos OTAs. Bleacher Report put out an article saying, yo, he can be a trade target with the Eagles and him just being the third option or Eagles just slotting him in a slot. We could have a really, really good three-headed monster. And um, I like the idea. I like the theory. But I don't think we should trade for him. We should see what happens, see if he may um, post June cuts. And if he's out there, yeah, give him a look for sure. Because not only you can slot him in the slot, I don't think he got as much experience in the slot, but he could definitely play outside. We're talking about a guy during his career. He's in that 700 
yardage range. I know he had one season over a thousand yards. So Cortland Sutton can definitely, definitely play. But will he be okay with being the fourth option on the team? You know, I think he was like the second option or maybe even sometimes the first option between him and Jerry Judy. But is he okay with being that third, fourth option behind Dallas Goddard? Yeah, behind Dallas Goddard, behind Devontae Smith, and behind A.J. Brown. Is he okay with that? That's the question. Because he ain't going to get them 700 yards. Maybe he get 400, and 400 would be good enough for us. Maybe he get five, maybe 500. Will he be okay with that? Or he want to go somewhere, beat a man, and get super paid? Maybe he can do that as well, but that just won't be the Eagles because... We already got two high caliber guys, so he's not a guy we should really push for. But, you know, if he want to come play with the green, take a little like one year deal, play in the slot and just be that third option guy. Cool. Things will open up for him for sure, because you got to worry about Saquon Barkley coming out the backfield. You got to worry about A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. And is he OK? Again, we'll be in that lesser option. Is he okay with possibly even being the backup? So we'll see, man. But Bleacher Report did make some good points. But again, I don't just see us paying him the bag because they did bring that up. Like Eagles got cap space. They could pay him. But no, nah, we're not going to pay another wide receiver. That's just ridiculous to me. But hey, man, what do you think? How do you feel about the news today? AJ Brown sending messages. I like it. I love it. Also, John Ross with his powerful message, motivational message. And Cortland Sutton, how do we feel about him? Should we go get him? But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm up.